Uh, how's it going? Feel good tonight? It's a big wheel. It's a huge wheel you got there. It's, it's really big. Good work. Nice work. Okay, guess we're just taking off. Continue, sexy man. Oh, uh, what's going on, you guys? Thanks for stopping back to the channel. I am your older than average gamer. Today, we're gonna do a real quick little breakdown and chat, whatever you want to call it, about just the general direction we want to see Hell Let Loose going over this next year. Um, you know, let me know at the end of this thing too if I've hit the key marks for you. Um, if you're enjoying any of the content on this channel, I do hope that you'll think about liking uh, this video, maybe subscribing to the channel, and uh, clicking that bell for notifications. It helps me out immensely. Um, I love doing this, and every bit of that kind of feedback helps me a ton. So, I appreciate that. So, let's get right down to the, the, the nitty-gritty, if you will. Number one. Better stability across the board is something that I think every player, uh, whether you're on console or PC, has voiced the desire to have, you know, become improved with this game. And that's an obvious one to ask for. But there's stuttering in this game quite often, and it doesn't really matter what system you're on or what platform you're on. Even if you're running a uh, high-end computer, even players with the best computers in the world have said that they have issues with this game and its stability at times. It's obviously, some more than others. But the fact that it is a constant, no matter which platform you play on, is uh, something I think we can expect that they would want to be getting a handle on as quickly as possible with the recent uh, acquisition of uh, Hell Let Loose and all of its um, intellectual property uh, by Team 17, which is a much bigger studio than Black Matter, um, the possibility of this uh, getting fixed a little bit quicker is probably a little more reasonable of an ask now, too. We'll have to wait and see if they do, but I do think this is probably the number one thing that everybody who plays this game on anything wants to see happen now. Number two. Parity between PC and console was a promise uh, in the roadmap that was given to us uh, via Hell Let Loose just a handful of weeks ago, and that, I think, is, if it's not number one, it's definitely number two on just from what I've seen across the internet, whether it be on Reddit or it be on other social media platforms. Um, this is obviously something that if you're a console player, you really want, and the reason for that is because that means that we're going to get Eastern Front content. As soon as that becomes a reality, Eastern Front comes out, and all this new stuff that... Um, you know, Hell at Loose is planning to to put into the game is going to be coming to the game at the same time for console players as it does for PC. So if it's not number one, it's definitely number two on the list of things that I think everybody that plays this game, uh, particularly on the console, wants to see happen uh, as soon as possible. Number three. More server diversity, potentially. Uh, I'm not really sure 100% how to word this. Uh, maybe we just need more power. If you're playing this game on console, one of the biggest asks that I've seen um, is server browsers being implemented. And if you've ever played this game on PC, you'll find very quickly that everybody that's playing it is playing it on some sort of a privately run server that you know is either public or maybe it, it's a passworded server. In any case, 99% of the player population is not on an official server. And maybe you're thinking, well, hey, maybe uh, they don't have a lot of official servers. Well, they've got almost 80 of them running at any given moment that literally nobody is playing uh, ever, which is pretty crazy. I am exaggerating a little, but just a very little amount. So seeing a little more diversity in that would be great. We don't know exactly how many servers are running at one time uh, for the console version. At least I couldn't find exact numbers on it. Um, but, you know, with the new acquisition of, of Hell Let Loose from Team 17, you might imagine that there's going to be a better chance for more resources to be put into uh, making these servers a little more powerful, making them a little more stable, hopefully. And while some of the stability issues we talked about earlier are not always directly tied into, you know, the speed of a server or the bandwidth that it can provide, it certainly helps if you have a better uh, functioning server network to run these multiplayer games on. So that's the top three items that I could think of and that I've 
pretty sure like if you go around and you do see your own research you'll find these these, these three things are, are generally pretty high up on a, the player want list so over the next handful of months um as the transition from hell at loose uh, from black matter into team 17 and the new resources that they'll be able to utilize uh, because of that uh should make at least one or two of these items on this list um a lot more accessible and a lot more reasonable to you know to expect over this next uh, you know handful of months so i hope you guys are having a great week uh, if you're freezing your nips off out there i do apologize uh, i'm freezing mine off as well i uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the week it's just monday but we're gonna make it cheers